Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on integrating the report viewer component in an Angular 9 application. Before getting into the video, make sure your development environment includes Node.js version 8 or higher, NPM version 3 or higher. First, let's install the Angular CLI. The Angular CLI is a command line scaffolding tool used to initialize, develop, and maintain Angular applications directly from a command shell. Run this command to install the Angular CLI globally in the command prompt. Now let's create a new application. To create a new Angular application, run this command in the command prompt. In the command prompt, add Angular routing to your application by entering Y in the prompt window. Then select the Enter key. You can choose any style sheet for application development. For this tutorial, choose the CSS style sheet format using the arrow keys and then press enter. Now, the Angular CLI automatically installs the required Angular NPM packages and other dependencies. I have included the FAQ link to load SAS in the video description. Now, let's configure the bold report viewer in Angular CLI. First, Change the directory to your application's root folder, by entering this command. For type checking of the bold reports components, install bold reports typings by executing this command. To install the bold reports Angular library, execute this command. Open the application in Visual Studio Code. I am using Visual Studio Code for editing purposes. You can use any editor to get started. To configure the typings for the entire application, Open the tsconfig.app.json file and register the at types and at bold report slash types under the type roots array. And add the typings jQuery and reports.all. Our Angular reporting component requires a window.jQuery object to render properly. Now, open the src slash polyfills.ts file and import the jQuery like in this code snippet. The code snippets used in this video tutorial are available in the Getting Started documentation. You can find the documentation link in the video description. Let's add the theme reference. Open the angular.json file and add the report viewer component style bold.reports.all.min.css within the angular report viewer styles section. This includes the CSS properties for the JavaScript reporting component and the material theme. In bold reports, the report processing and rendering in the browser will be handled using a server-side web API and a client-side page, respectively. Let's add the report viewer component in the client side. Open the app.module.ts file and import the bold report viewer module. Now import the following scripts. Then open the index.html file and reference the following scripts and head tag. I have mentioned the purpose of each script in CSS in the following table. ej2base.min.js, ej2data.min.js, ej2pdfexport.min.js, ej2svgbase.min.js is used to render the gauge item. ej2linearGauge.min.js renders the linear gauge report item. ej2CircularGauge.min.js renders the circular gauge report item. ej2Maps.min.js is used to render the map report item ej.bulletgraph.min.js is used to render the bullet graph report item. 
ej.chart.min.js is used to render the chart report item. bold.reportViewer.min.js is mandatory to render the bold report viewer. Open the app.component.html and initialize the report viewer using this code snippet. Now open the app.component.ts and initialize the service URL and report path. Then include the constructor to initialize the report viewer properties. Now let's set the report path and web API service. This is where the RDL report is processed and rendered in the browser using the web API service. You can find out how to create the standalone web API service in either the ASP.NET Core or ASP.NET Platform in another video. I have included the video link in the description. In this video, I am using the render path unit, which requires the service URL and report path. The web API service is hosted as Azure Web App. The report path property sets the path of the report file and the service URL property specifies the report web API service URL. To render the report, set the report path and report service URL properties of the report viewer in the constructor. Here I am using the sales order detail.rdl report from the demo server location. This file is located in resources slash doc slash path. Now open the app.component.html and bind the report path and report service URL properties of report viewer. Then save the application. Let's serve the application. Open the command prompt and run this command. It will compile and launch the application in the default browser at this URL. You can see the sales order detail report is loaded in the bold report viewer. In this video, we learned how to integrate a report viewer component in an Angular 9 application using bold reports. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.